integrate 1 over x minus x cube. This cannot be integrated directly, but we can rewrite this as a sum of partial fractions. So one of the method is to equate the coefficients of power of x and then solve the simultaneous equation to get a, b and c. The other way is to manipulate the numerator to get the partial fraction. So here we'll write x minus x cube as product of x and 1 minus x square. Now in the numerator we have 1. So we can add and subtract x square from the numerator to make it similar to the terms in denominator. Now we can split this into two partial fractions with 1 minus x square as numerator in the first term and x square as numerator in the second term. From the first term 1 minus x square gets cancelled out leaving us with 1 over x and from the second term we get x over 1 minus x square. We can rearrange the second term to make the denominator x square minus 1 and taking the minus sign out. Now x square minus 1 can be written as product of x plus 1 and x minus 1. And if we observe here the sum of these two terms is 2x but in the numerator we have only x so we multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 and then write this term as sum of two fractions 1 over x plus 1 and 1 over x minus 1. So now we have got three partial fractions of the format 1 over x and we know that integration of 1 over x is log of absolute of x. Similarly integration of 1 over x plus 1 is log of absolute of x plus 1 and integration of 1 over x minus 1 is log of absolute of x minus 1. Now we'll apply the properties of logarithm where sum of log becomes log of the product. So the second and third term will become log of absolute of x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 which can be further rewritten as log of absolute of x square minus 1. Now we, here we have half as coefficient of the logarithmic term. So this can be taken inside and converted into a power. So we'll get log of absolute of under root of x square minus 1. Here we have the difference between the two terms. So applying the properties of logarithm, this can be converted into log of absolute of x over under root of x square minus 1. This can also be rewritten into a various format. So one of the way is to take the square root outside. Hence the denominator will become x square minus 1 and in the numerator we will square it to get x square. So we get half outside log absolute of x square over x square minus 1. We can also rearrange the signs to get half of log of absolute of x square over 1 minus x square.